Okay, so go ahead and put a little pressure on it. Okay, let it back down. See the whole thing move? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Do it, jack it up one more time. Go ahead and let it back down again. Yeah, there's a lot of movement there. Okay. forward again this side was really moving you could see the oh, side yeah. you could see the wheel you could hold it <laughs> are you up against it no we left that one in place right the front, yeah, the front one? one we didn't move yeah the one that's painted it's still there right yes sir today <laughs> so t tell me what your symptoms were again what happened the symptoms were the the clutch uh, the rear axle is bouncing up and down there's so much chatter when trying to slip the clutch we got rid of the clutch chatter on the loose engine but now we have a loose axle <laughs> so we're gonna and it turns out that we have a worn out bell crank from the uh, uh, clutch pedal going back to the engine where the motion fore and aft is is turned into left and right and there's so much free play there that we can't get the clutch to fully depress that is correct is that right that's exactly what's going on and i'll show you in this video what we just photographed of your rear axle moving back and forth and jumping all yeah. over the place because it's loose there's a bolt that goes through uh yeah, it's like a shackle, uh -huh. and the one part of it like is all worn out, and the uh -huh. bolt is, I can wiggle the bolt loose. I saw that when we were under yeah. there, and then I could see where it was shiny, where it had been moving. Uh -huh. I wasn't sure how much it was moving, but yeah. now that I've seen it move, it moves a lot, and it really bounces around like crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll need to, uh, the good news is, is that it looks like your uh, radius rod mounts are still good. They're, they're, in, they're tight in position. Oh. We couldn't get any of those to move. Okay. So come on out here, and we'll show you what we got going on. All right. Charm, when it's moving. There's all that play before it actually moves that lever. And I, just, I think that extra slop in there is preventing us from having the full travel of the clutch like we need to. Plus the clutch pedal is actually not returning all the way up to the high position. But you can see that's rubbing even on that wall right there. So we're going to work on that. And that radius rod mount. I didn't bring any power tools today, so we're going to be using the jack on the ratchet method. I haven't heard it break loose yet, but it doesn't look like the ratchet's up in it, right? Some pair of safety glasses. 
They're on. <laughs> Where are my invisible ones? <laughs> Turning. That thing would be bent. The very craftsman has not moved. <laughs> That's old school. That's like made in USA craft. Yeah. If you go any slower, I have to show this in time lapse. <laughs> it moved. The jack moved. <laughs> How tight is the ratchet on there? Pretty darn tight. No oh, shit. Oh yeah. All flex. Let me like, take some of the flex out of it. Well, let me lower it back down all the way, right? No, I want to go up under the oh. ratchet up here where maybe there's less flex. Okay. I'm going to have to spin it this way so we can even get to the handle. Maybe I can do it. Is this handle closed or no? Uh, no. No. It didn't look like, I mean, can I just do it by hand? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all the way up to there before it ever starts, so go ahead. So it's had to have moved because it used to be tight and we couldn't even get the jack on. Oh, I think that's all that. See the ratchet? Let me move this out of the way. Pull it. is lifting. <laughs> some pictures and some measurements. We know what the end of the bolt looks like. I can get the parts number from the book oh, and then okay. uh, get it from the book. I, but I, what, I, what I was worried about is the hole that it goes through. In that, yeah. The, the hole's probably all worn out. Oh, it has to be. Well, not all, yeah, you can see right there. Not all the movement was there though. So some of this was taking the movement too, right? Yeah. I was worried about that hole. Through the plate? Uh-huh. Yeah, I was, I'm worried about the one in between. In yeah. I bet there's a bushing in there. In the plate. I don't know. Thank I'll you. have to go back and look at the book. But I know that plate I can get and replace the plate, no problem, or just make a new one. But that other piece, I can't just fabricate that, and I don't have a way. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Alright, I have to look at the book. 